They were in their 80s. They were found shot to death during a January 5th break-in at their home in Kentwood, a crime that terrified neighbors. Now, Higgins is also being charged with home invasion for that break-in and using a firearm in a felony. Everybody is asking me what I'm going to do about my mother. I don't know. I don't know. May's going downhill all right and really fast. $10,000? You've got to be kidding. At that rate, mother's money's going to run out in like 10 months. Mate, if you don't make this transfer, you know what's going to happen, don't you? Should I put her in a skilled nursing? Should I put her in the hospital? Should I take her to that home health downtown? I don't know. I don't know. You, she will be so much more comfortable. Everything's changing so quickly. This is your mother we're talking about here, not your dog. We promised that we would keep her home until the end. She's always been there. How much do you have to believe me before you do the thing? You said you don't. Most of the time, you only see one or two family members in this situation. No, not in my mother's house. I love you, Mom. Samuel Graham attacked 60-year-old Diane Cothran in her car, threw her out of the car, leaving her paralyzed. Cothran died from her injuries. Diane Cothran was part of a group called the Fab Five. A woman Cothran was helping through her church asked Cothran to give her brother a ride home. North Charleston police say the man who needed the ride was Samuel Graham. Police say once inside the car, Graham beat Catherine in the neck and head. Beat her and threw her out of her car and left her in the middle of the road to die.